everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gems and today I'm greeted with my sister Angel who recently just unboxed her curling hair tarantula yes. which you can see on the channel as well. Go ahead and subscribe. But today we are actually housing a Tornadoptal Tiger tarantula and this is my second tarantula so we're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> Um, so this tarantula is actually from Portsmouth Tarantulas. I did unbox it in the tarantula video with the curly hair. So if you do want to see that, go ahead and check out my channel. There should be a video about curly hair. Unbox this. So you can see it's in here. Take this label off. They've kindly um, labeled it so I know which tarantula it is. So I will be setting up this enclosure which is from the Tea World, who I also have other enclosures from as well. They're they're massively insanely nice, like insanely yeah, people. they're really nice. Yeah. So we ordered them as slings because obviously um, we are somewhat beginners. Um, my little sister is definitely a beginner. She yeah. just got her first tarantula. She's joining me in this because we just finished fi finishing, well, we just finished um, recording the curly hair video. <laughs> yep. So now we've got the, the curly hair of tiger. Yeah, the curly hair is so adorable. Yeah, yeah the curly yeah. hair was yeah. amazing. The curly hair was absolutely so cute. You should definitely check out that video. Yeah. But I'm going to put this to the side in this little box over here. And we are going to work on getting this enclosure set up for the Trinidad of Tiger. Yes. And also in the packet that I received for the Trinidad of Tiger, I did get a Portsmouth sticker, which is absolutely insane. Their logo is incredible. So I decided to go with uh, the Tea World orange themed. You do get, if you order the full set enclosures, um, you do get um, random colors. I ordered four, so I got four random colors and I've decided that this one will be perfect for my tarantula. So it also comes with a name tag. You get to write on it, whatever species tarantula you have or whatever name you're gonna call it. You get a water dish. <laughs> And you get a little tunnel as well. So now I'm gonna sort this all up. And also, the T World kindly supplied some substrate to go along with the full enclosure setup. Yeah, substrate is right here. Yeah. Will that be enough? Will you have yeah, that'll be enough. Right. right, so, um, turn it out of tigers, they do burrow, so I'm gonna give it enough substrate to be able to burrow itself. I might use up all of this, honestly. go see how much that makes up hmm. I don't want to tap it more, wouldn't you? yeah I like making kind of like hills as well because it makes it seem as if it's yeah, there's more substrate than what there actually is just a tad bit more substrate though because obviously it's if I do the hill it makes it bare at the bottom so I got a couple of, of these bags because obviously I, I, I ordered a, a few of the, in the enclosures <laughs> out. Put more in. There we go. And then we'll make the little hill that I like to have so it has a room to burrow. Then the front pieces can be where the water dish goes and where they get to be fed and stuff like that. So there we go. That looks like a nice. We got a hill in the back and in the front, a whole like little spaced out area. There you go. That's good. Right now, time to put the decor in. I actually did decide to put this little piece in just because it's a piece of the cardboard that we have. So I'm just gonna decide to put that in maybe. Hmm. Here. there you go and then I'm gonna put this big flower just right in the back because obviously when the lid goes on it's gonna put it all down like just that so you can see how that that goes up like that so I just put this down in the back I don't want to stay down there, does it? <laughs> nope. Huh, maybe like this. Maybe like that will be nice. Yeah. Maybe like that. Piece of cock in the back. 
very good collab editors. <laughs> yeah. And then maybe I'll add one of these or one of these maybe. Hmm. Which one should I do? I think maybe the yellow one. Yeah, yeah this will look good. I'm gonna be orange makes it be yellow. Yeah, uh, I have to figure out where to put it in though. These are fake plants, they supply with fake plants, fake plants, so they look pretty nice and they will survive and I have a really bad habit of killing plants for some reason. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they just die in my care. So that should... Well, there's some plants I gave you, you haven't killed them yet, so... Yeah. That should be good. Mm, maybe I will take this part because it seems to be covering a lot of stuff. Because I don't actually want... It is a sling, so it will be very easy to hide in here. So maybe I will take that out and put in this instead. Because I definitely do want to still see my sling. How's that? How does that look, actually? How does that look? That is actually really nice. Yeah, I think that looks good. Simply just because I do want to see my sling and stuff. Yeah, I think both me and you kind of went for like simple looks. We didn't yeah. Really go all out. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go all out because we definitely do want to still see the slings and the then little again, water I, dish that yeah. comes with it. Then again, I got these like giant leaves in where you can definitely hide in. Yeah, true, true, true. I'm gonna make a little pile for the water dish to go in. There we go, while your dish is secured. Okay, and then you would want to Maybe the it tunnel, out. I can add the tunnel in, because they, they bring a tunnel as well. Yeah, I added it to my tunnel. I kind of just sticked it into the mountain. Yeah, maybe I could put it here to the side, or... To however you want it. Hmm, I'll have to look for it. Uh, maybe here. Hmm. I don't know how that would look. Maybe that's nice? Yeah, it'd be nice. I mean, I think it looks nice. How do you guys think about this? This little simple enclosure for a sling. I think that looked nice. Yeah. So I sprinkle a little bit more dishes in. All right, there we go. I got this from the Tea World, which is also where I got the curlier from. So this is really nice actually, because it's really I, I usually use my spray bottle and that usually makes a lot more noise. This thankfully does it very silently and I won't scare them away. So there you go. And now time for the tarantula. Yes. Gosh, okay, here we go. Oh. This tarantula is so tiny and very active because I can see it immediately. Wow, as soon as I open this, look at that. Oh. As soon as I open this, it's gonna be out and I don't know if it's small enough to fit for those holes. That is hella tiny. Yeah, this tarantula is super, it's like ready to come out already. That's like baby, wow. baby spider tiny. Yeah, it's like tiny, tiny. As soon as I open this, it's gonna just, it's gonna be out. <laughs> okay, you oh, need to open it right, literally right above the thing. Oh, it's going back in, it's going back in. Okay. okay. So I don't know if these holes are too small, well, too big for it to go through. I'm hoping that it won't climb up anything. Uh, yeah. Hoping it won't climb, but let's try and, actually, do you wanna get the phone? bring it down and then you can see me do this up close okay there we go all right my sister got the camera down but i guess here we go i have to figure out how we're doing this so it already wanted to come out it's very very active i noticed that it's super active it's oh my goodness super active your hands how do i get this open your hands are covering everything okay i'm getting oh. a good view <laughs> sorry <laughs> I have to make sure it's not immediately wanting to come out. Okay, it's right there. Oh gosh. It's like right there. I can see it. Oh my, my. goodness. It's like right there. My. my goodness. Oh, yeah, it's it's ready to come out. I don't know if these holes are too big for it to come out. I really hope not. I don't want to lose my first, my second tarantula. Yeah, this is my like my second tarantula, so. It won't come undone. What the? Okay, there we go. Okay, it's gone at the end. Trying to get my sleeve up. Do you want to come out? It's gone. 
It came up before. Why aren't you coming out now? Okay. Oh, wow. This... Oh, that's really stuck to it. Okay. Can't move that. That's really stuck. I gotta say, that is interesting packing because it doesn't... Um, it allows the tea to move around a lot in here. You coming out or you wanna see it up there? You see it? Yeah. That's it right there. So tiny. Yeah, it's super tiny. I really hope you can't get out of the holes. Oh, you're coming out? Ooh, it's like You coming out? You can see that. Looks like an ant. <laughs> yeah, it's so active. Oh, look at that. Oh, you going, going around everywhere. Here you go, little yeah. guy. Can you get shots of it? Try and get it from above. Look at it, there you go. Oh my goodness, you're tiny. Oh yeah, you could definitely get through the holes. It's really hard to focus on him because he's so tiny. I'm gonna remove this simply because it is very tiny. It can definitely get through the holes and I don't want it to have the ability to you moving the table. Oh, sorry. It's very hard, I can't even see it. Okay, so down there, there it is. Oh my goodness. So these holes are a bit big for it and it definitely can get through that. So if I knew it was gonna be this small, um, I wouldn't have made this so big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well, at least it has a place to go now. You could definitely tell it's a heartburn tarantula because immediately as I was taking it out, I could see, I could see the heartburn on it. On it. it was so beautiful. It's so active. I can't even see him. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I had to take the other, I had to take this one out because it was by the hole. So if it climbed on it, it would definitely get the opportunity to get through those holes. And I just did not want that happening. I don't even know where it is. It's right down there. It might be really hard for you to see. Yeah, it's very hard. It's hard to see it. It's just gone down. But it's so piddly. <laughs> Yeah, it's so tiny. It's so much more tiny. That's the size my first tarantula showed up. If you guys didn't watch the curly hair video, like, the curly hair was so much bigger than this tarantula. So much bigger. Oh my goodness. It's so cute, though. It's so cute. At least I, it's got a water dish already I, set up for it. I can't see the cuteness of it because I can't <laughs> even see it. It's down there. All right, there you go. That's the video. <laughs> my goodness, I cannot believe I finally got my heart by trench. I've been wanting this trench for like so long, months even. Oh my god, it is so cute. I am. Oh, thank you uh, to the um, Portsmouth tarantulas. Thank you so much. This is incredible. I'm I'm so stoked right now. It's yeah. it's so so cute. Oh I my goodness. I can't tell how cute it is because it's so small. It's already hidden away. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to let it settle for 24 hours and then see if it wants to eat anything. If not, that's okay. It's probably just still settling in. Um, but we're still going to keep an eye on it, keep it watered and stuff like that. But yeah, this is my second tarantula and my little sister's first tarantula for the curly hair. If you haven't seen the curly hair video, go check it out. But uh, wow. It is so cute. It is so cute. It has just hidden away now and now we are never going to see it ever again. <laughs> At least has something to go into. It's gonna be. I think it really, happy, yeah, happy it really likes that plant. It immediately went to hide under it. Yeah, I mean it has the opportunity to hide in here and stuff like yeah. that. Use the water dish. And this substrate is moist as well, so that yeah. should help it too. Oh, but yeah, I, I guess that'll be. I guess that'll be it for the video. There's nothing else much I can really do. It wants to hide away. I'm, I gotta let it settle down. So that will be it. These enclosures are also from the Tea World. So if you want to get your own, I will leave the link down in the description below. But, uh, yeah, there we go. That is... Oh, wait, what does one go down? Time to do one-handed. There we go. All right, well, that will be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys to Porcelain Trenches and the Tea World for supplying our enclosures uh, for the Tea World and uh, Tarantula from the Porcelain Trenches and Tea World for the other Tarantula that I have for the curly hair that my sister got. Yes. But yeah, thank, thank you. Guys, you. Yeah, thank you guys so much. It was absolutely insane that we both love them so much. Yeah, they're both very adorable. Yeah. But yeah, that will be it at the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys in another video very soon where we rehouse Asterix, yes. which is my first tarantula. She is almost a juvenile, and uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting to do. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye! Bye!
Hey guys, this is me from when I was editing the video. Later that day, we actually did end up rehousing that same tarantula as you can see in the picture. We were currently looking for it and I kind of assumed it was under the water dish and long and behold, it was. So we decided to rehouse into a much smaller environment where we can actually watch it and preserve it and keep an eye on it and stuff like that. It has actually recently eaten a meal, which is coming in a recent video very, very soon. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to say just so you guys know that it is in a enclosure that was way too big for it. You were completely right about that. Um, I just wanted people to know that we did rehouse it so you guys are aware. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.